in. I have some fresh lobster tails here, and they're pretty simple to get into. You just need a good pair of scissors. And look at that, it just comes right out. For me, lobster is one of those things that I only really have on special occasions. But when I finally do get to eat it, it's just so soft and delicate, a little bit sweet and juicy. So it goes really, really well in this mac and cheese. All right, my lobster's all cut up. And now I want to get started on my pasta. Everybody has their favorite noodles for mac and cheese. It's totally your call, but I'm going to use shells. some bacon frying up in this pan and I'm gonna use all the little bacon bits and the fat to make my mac and cheese sauce. Bit of fresh garlic right into the bacon fat. Some cayenne for heat. And dried mustard for a bit of a kick. Another thing that makes my mac and cheese all grown up is a bit of dry vermouth. Dry vermouth is really good. It's almost like a fortified white wine. It goes really, really well with lobster, and it's also going to help to deglaze my pan and pick up all of those delicious brown bacon bits. I've got another little trick up my sleeve evaporated milk. It's going to make it really rich and creamy. Some regular milk. I'm using two types of cheese for my mac and cheese. The first one is a cheddar, which is sharp and salty. And the second is fontina, which is a little bit more creamy and nutty. I'm gonna put in a little bit of my pasta water because the starch that comes out of the pasta is actually gonna help thicken the sauce. I think I wanna add some fresh chives for a pop of green. Just fold all of that cheesy delight. Make sure all of the pasta is coated. Wow. I'm gonna finish my mac and cheese off in the oven, but first a crunchy topping to round the whole thing out. A little bit of extra cheese. All good mac and cheese has a crunchy topping. So for this mac and cheese, I'm gonna crunch up some salty potato chips. Oh yeah. This just came out of the oven, so it's gonna be really, really hot. I'm probably gonna burn my mouth, but it's totally worth it. <laughs> the crunch of the chips, look how cheesy it is. All right, here goes. First of all, those chips on top are awesome, but you get a little tender bite of delicate lobster. 
salty bacon. Mmm. And those pasta shells have just kind of enveloped all of that gooey, oozy, creamy cheese sauce. Mm. I'm probably going to enjoy this whole entire dish 